you know, we ended up with three turnovers in the first four series. Anytime you do that, you're gonna, you know, you put your team in a in a low percentage opportunity to win the game, and you know, we can't afford those types of mistakes. Um, they're a very active group. They're tough. We knew that going in. Thought we had a good plan, and we weren't able to execute that plan. Uh, we made some mistakes that we haven't made through the course of the year, and um, you now we're able to evaluate it, get a get a good feel for what they're trying to do, and learn from those mistakes. But it cost us. Yeah, it was a tough tough tape to watch. You know, they uh, they got after us. They were they were by far the most physical front that we played, and and. Uh, you know they they did a nice job of attacking us, and we knew going into that game they were an explosive running team. Uh, the running back is, you know, uh, has done some great things throughout the year. He's a very talented back, and our goal was not to allow the big run. And you know, early on we we're making them earn everything, and you know had to battle some tough field position, but but hung in there. But then he broke two runs. You know, we just uh, one of them we just got out of our gaps and one of them we just missed tackles and all of a sudden the game changed you know they they just jumped on us uh with those two quick touchdowns uh I thought early we were fighting and keeping ourselves in a battle um but when those two things hit it really kind of kind of stung us and from there it was just a matter of the game being played out they they just uh from that point said hey we'll just uh control the football by running and, and that's what they did I, I think our players are you know they have the they have the right mindset going into this game. That's for sure. It's it is a different feel, and I, it is a different team, and things are turning, and I believe that. And to see them, you know, as motivated as they are to go out and get this, and to to make sure that they are the first ones to get a, a winning season at this level is very important to them and and to us as coaches. And I don't think them needing motivation is something that's going to change the outcome of this game. They're very self motivated. Well, I think all our guys are aware of it. We're aware of it. Uh, you know, this team has given us a lot, and, and they've fought, and they've bounced back from some tough losses uh, previously in the year. It's been one of those years that kind of almost like a roller coaster up and down at different times, And uh, but but we've stayed on the ride. And so this, this is a big game, obviously. Uh, I think everybody's aware that, you know, the winning season's uh, there for us to grab, and, and uh, that's been a – been been a topic of conversation. It's a focus, but you know uh, we just have to go out and control what we can control this week. Well, I think one of the 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 foundation players is uh, is Sean Polinix. You know, he came in as a freshman, and and he's been a four year starter for us. And started out at tackle, and this year he you know he ended up getting beat out at tackle, and we bumped him inside. And he's done a fantastic job for us. And um, but anytime you have a player that is that consistent, that reliable, he's going to be missed. Um, and you got Malcolm Y, who's, oh, you know, he's the 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 character of our our unit, and he's our leader. And you know, he's been limited in some roles this year, and that's just because of you know, overall the level of competition at the wideout spot. But he's he's handled it extremely well. He's prepared himself every week and. You know, the way that he's been able to provide that leadership for our younger guys, it's irreplaceable. And his story alone is, is something that's inspiring. And I think that that is what, you know, so many players have come through this program. That's what he represents. Um, it's that blue collar, hard work, you know, walk on kid that earns his way. And, and, and I love it. I love everything about that aspect of it. Um, you know, but overall, you know, we are. We're going to miss this senior group for sure, and um, but what they've done for this program, it's it's pretty neat to see, and they they continue to believe, and uh, you now they're changing. They're the ones that are leaving their mark, changing the culture. So I'm pretty excited about them. The seniors have been great for us. Uh, you know, you get you getting guys that have really gone out there and, and given us great effort and great uh, leadership at times. You know. Uh, you know, you go through the team, and at linebacker, there's Jaquiel Walker, and Jaquiel is a, a guy that's suffered through some injuries the last two years, unfortunately, uh, but has always had a great attitude. He's, he's well respected by players and coaches alike, and, and uh, you know, he got a little playing time last week, and hopefully, he'll get a little playing time this week. Uh, uh, been a tough year for him, but but his character just shines through, and that's that's uh, that's 
kind of what this senior class is all about. You got AJ Battle out there at corner who's been fighting through injuries uh, all year long, and we've been so limited with our position at corner. You know, we've gone through half the season with three corners sometimes, and uh, so AJ's battled through and just done a great job for us back there as well. And then you got Trevor Douglas at safety, and Trevor uh, uh, has been a mainstay for us. Uh, and yet he's fought through injuries the last three games, and, and, and it's kind of showed a little bit. But he, he just continues to battle and do some tough things. Uh, you know, there's a couple other guys, you know, Glover, uh, uh, another senior for us that has, has stepped up and played a lot of good football for us. And, and so when you look back at, at, at this group of guys, it's, uh, it's a group that, you know, have a chance to leave a mark on the program. They're, they're the guys who are going to leave here saying that, you know, my class went out with the first winning record, like you mentioned, in, in 12 years. And so um, I'm hopeful for those guys that we can do that. John Newsom, you know, it's he's probably had the toughest uh, senior season out of all of them, and that is a difficult, difficult thing to go through. He's, he's a heck of a quarterback. He's a competitor, and I love everything that he stands for in that regard. And for him to... You know, be able to handle the adversity that he faced this year, it's a testament to, to what he stands for. And I think that that will carry over down the future and he'll be extremely successful. You know, we're, we're fortunate to have a, a young quarterback that you know, we believe in, and that's, that's the decision we made, good, bad, or indifferent. But it doesn't take away what John's done for this program either and, and how we feel about him. And it's, it's hard to see some of these guys go, but it's – well, that's part of this process, and we always, you hear every athlete dies twice, and you know we try to get it across that this, this game is not who they are. It's not their identity. It's just something that that we love to do, and hopefully some of the lessons that you know they have learned from playing here at UNC and going to school here can carry over later in life. Well, Abilene Christian is a. a is an interesting offense. They're, they're they're a spread team and they're extremely athletic at the skill positions. Um, they play two quarterbacks, and so uh, you see a whole lot of different types of things in offense. Uh, number four, their starting quarterback is is a is a is a runner. So you see a lot of gun run when he's in the game. You see uh, you see some quick passing game, some bubbles, and uh, and uh, he's a guy that. You know, goes back to pass as well, and if it's not there, he's going to tuck that ball and run. He's he's kind of reminds you a little bit of the uh, Portland State quarterback in that regard. Uh, then their other quarterback, 14, comes in, and he's definitely a passer, very accurate, very good passer. So they've got a one-two punch at quarterback, and so you really, really uh, have to be able to defend both the run and the pass against these guys. Two outstanding running backs. Uh, um, a big 6'2", 225-pound wide receiver. Uh, uh, they got tight ends. They got three tight ends. They're all over 250 pounds. So it's it's a uh, it's a very athletic uh, and good offensive uh, football team. One that's going to challenge us in a lot of different ways. But you know we're looking forward to the matchup. They're very very athletic across the board. They have a lot of team speed. Um, defensively, they're a four-down front team. They'll mix in some some three down in situations, but you know, overall that's what sticks out is, is they have a lot of speed. And um, you now I think we match up well against them and, and I think that our guys are going to be able to, to do some good things.